Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video, doing GMA Friday for today's second video. So as it was on Friday, we have a look at the weather for the next four weeks with Japanese and CFS B2 bars. You can take us into the early part of May, can you uh, believe? So uh, I shall get on with that for you very shortly, just to say that uh, first re release day was our nice little 7am upload. Uh, morning call, if you like, uh, just a little forecast for the next uh, few days, so if you haven't yet seen that, uh, check it out. We'll be back later on your 10 to 14 day, which will include all of the regular features. Uh, right, so we're going to start off with the uh, 500 millibar height anomalies from the Arctic and North Pole uh, view down. Uh, so, of course, that's the uh, North Pole just there. It's a wider arctic circle around here, and we've got mid latitudes uh, around there. Uh, so, yellow, orange, and red extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure, blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. Uh, these charts are broken out into weekly periods, and the first week period will take us from the 9th through to the 16th of, uh, of uh, April. So, uh, the coming week, we'll have a blocking out to our northwest, so above average heights in the North Atlantic, going to Greenland, below average Average heights through northern West parts of Europe and out into the Atlantic as well. Jet stream is being pushed down here. And we could be putting in some quite cool or even quite cold winds from the north and from the northeast. Looking rather unsettled, but also pretty cold in the week ahead. Week two is going to take us from the 10th through to the 23rd of uh, April. This week looks unsettled with, again, low pressure out to our west, high pressure towards the Canadian side of Greenland, and in comes uh, the jet stream as well. The difference with this is that it's probably a little bit milder uh, due to more of an Atlantic influence. So it's going to be unsettled. There'll be showers, April showers, maybe longer spells of rain. But as the blocking is moving more towards the Canadian side of the Arctic and Greenland, I think it does allow more of a westerly flow, which, of course, is going to be... I mean, in April, westerlies aren't going to be overly warm but westerlies will be less uh less cold in april than, than like northerly or northeasterly so that should be a little bit milder but still probably quite unsettled and we go through to weeks three and four which takes us from the 23rd of uh, april through to the 7th of may so into into may uh looking quite unsettled below average heights just centered across the northern and western parts of europe not much sign of high pressure at all there may be a bit of a mid-atlantic ridge here again going towards greenland uh, i say that as a trotho towards uh northeast america and uh, eastern canada so so we've got two um troughs one there and then we're under a trough as well so there may be a ridge uh, through here with the jet stream doing something uh, a little bit like that. And then, and then, of course, there's this ridge over here in the southeast part of Europe, which would be our warm ridge drawing at the air from Africa. But but anyway, the upshot is we could be quite cool and unsettled there uh, for weeks uh, three and four, taking us through the end of April into the beginning of May. Let's confirm all of that with a tropical and mid latitude view with temperature and precipitation anomalies. So, British Isles in top right hand corner of the chart. As you're looking at it, reminder of the week one, 500 millibar height only. We can't see Greenland and the Arctic and Scandinavia, all those areas are off the chart up here. But that looking that view down so we know what's going on. We know that in this week there is a northern blocking signal, a strong one, a uh, big ridge in the North Atlantic going up to Greenland. Trough of low pressure over northwestern uh, Europe and uh, and out into the Atlantic. So it looked like we're probably pulling in quite cold north or northeast. We're temperature anomalies, therefore, in week one uh, from the uh, 9th through to the 16th of April are colder than average. Oops, let's highlight that again. Colder than average, below average temperatures coming up quite substantially. So I think on the scale, the anomaly there is going down to around two to three degrees below average. So a significantly cold average week coming up. It's not overly unsettled, despite the fact that uh, a trough of low pressure is sort of dominating uh, weather because the air is pretty chilly. Uh, it's not all that much precipitation in with, with that trough, actually. So it's relatively dry, but it is, uh, it is uh, a quite a cold week. Uh, week two is going to be the uh, 16th through 23rd of April. This one is bringing in low pressure from off the Atlantic. The blocking is moving more towards Canada. 
Um, so I think this could be a little bit milder, but would still be unsettled. Temperature are actually still looking a little bit below average in the north. So Scotland and Ireland coming out uh, cold and average. England and Wales ever so slightly above average. And it's a wetter week as well. So more unsettled in week two uh, with above average rainfall. And then weeks three and four just look quite unsettled, really, with a trough of low pressure centred over the UK and northern uh, Europe. So this one is looking quite unsettled. Again, temperature anomalies now are very close to or slightly above average. So recovering temperature taking place there uh, in weeks three and four, 23rd of, uh, of April to the 7th of May. But it is unsettled as well with above average rainfall. So quite a quite a wet end to April slash beginning of May possible there. Right, let's see how, let's see how the CFS V2 compares. So again, these are 500 millibar heights break it down into week periods. The first week period takes from a night to the 15th of April. The coming week again has a strong northern block and signal in the North Atlantic going up to Greenland. Trough of low pressure over UK uh, and Northern Europe and out into the Atlantic. Jet stream is down here. And we're possibly pulling in quite cold winds from the north and from the northeast. Uh, week two looks like that. It's going to be the 16th to the 22nd of April. This one has a trough of low pressure over Scandinavia with a ridge of high pressure in the North Atlantic going to Greenland. So again, we're probably pulling in quite cold winds from a north or northwesterly direction once again. Uh, week three looks more unsettled, if anything. This is 23rd, 29th of April. This is not good signs for April, I have to say. The rest of the month could be uh, increasingly unsettled, as well as being quite cool. Trough of low pressure across the northwest Europe combined again with this mid-Atlantic ridge heading up towards Greenland jet stream is being pushed southwards as well so quite cold uh, slash cool and unsettled there with uh, probably quite a bit of rain to come and then week four is going to be the 30th of April to the 6th of May look at this northern blocking uh, is just re-strengthening, if anything. The high pressure coming back there uh, from Greenland to uh, northern Scandinavia, say Svalbard, which places its trough of low pressure underneath it. Uh, so cool and maybe quite wet going into May here with the CFS today. Temperature anomalies for week one from the CFS V2 from the 9th to the 15th of April are very significantly cold of an average. Not those blue colours there through the country. Again, on a temperature scale, that's going to around three degrees, maybe more below average. So a cold week. Week two is the 16th to the 22nd of April. Again, below average temperature anomalies. Look how cold it is across Northern America as well and up into Canada too. Really cold week there. Uh, going for the week three, uh, which is 23rd to 29th of April. Also, uh, substantially below average temperature. Not quite as cold, but even so, we're still talking about temperature on is one to two degrees below average, I think. So that rounds us off with a cold and average April, obviously. And we go through the week four, which takes us into May. And there's no real recovery in the temperature doing there either. That's the 30th of April, 6th of May, again, below average temperatures are predicted. Lastly, the precipitation anomaly. So week one, from the 9th to the 15th of April, close to, or maybe a little bit drier than average uh, for the north. Week two is around average for precipitation from the 16th. 22nd of April, maybe no signal, but I would think probably just average, really. Uh, week three, by this point, we probably don't have much of a signal. It's 23rd of April to 29th. I would have thought that's likely to be quite a, quite a wet week, though, based on the 500 bit of our height anomaly. And then week four, which is the 30th of April to 6th of May, is also uh, a little bit wetter than, <laughs> wetter than average. So these are not good signals. Um, it has to be said for the rest of April and even into May, uh, you know, it looks like things are staying pretty bright. If the CFS is right, the blocking strengthens, actually, even more as we get into the end of April and the beginning of May. And just it all just, just looks rather cool, maybe quite cold even, and rather unsettled as well. It's not particularly inspiring for anybody who wants spring. What a contrast to, to last spring when it was so dry and warm. 
Um, you know, this is a big, big change. Uh, and uh, it also, I think, are staying quite cool. Uh, maybe pretty cold and unsettled if the CFS of a JMA are great. That was just a snapshot of what Mars has shown this week. I think I've been quite consistent over the past few weeks, so it has to be said. I think they've performed reasonably well with these um, JMA Fridays. So we should wait and see anyway. Uh, we wait and see how it uh, plays out. But yeah, a cool and, you know, maybe increasingly unsettled for the rest of April. If uh, Jamie Fry is correct today, we'll be back later on your 10 to 14 day. Looking for signs of spring, I suspect. So come back for that then. Uh, for Jamie Friday for this week, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.